What up guys, Scooby here today from the hookahcartel.com and I got another shishi review for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing Nekla Miso Mint. Now I've been on a miso kick lately, don't know what it is about it, but I've been loving it between mint, grape, peach, uh, and raspberry especially. Um, that's definitely been the bulk of what I've been smoking. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now it's your typical uh, Nekla Miso stuff there. I didn't break it all up, but uh, long leaves, a little chopped up here and there. There's quite a few stems, but you know, I'm not complaining uh, for the smell. Now it's definitely like a, like a strong spearmint. Um, that's definitely the predominant um, smell there. I don't have any tobacco undertones or anything. It's just a strong um, spearmint. So let's get right into the smoke. Um, smoking out of my uh, Blue Luxor Small Tangiers Funnel 3 Exotica Silver Tabs. Up top it's crowned and my Fancy Host. It's been going for about, say, 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. So I'm gonna show you guys the smoke and sh uh, give you my opinion on the strength of the flavor. Pretty big clouds like you would always get from a uh, Nekla Miso. Now for the strength of the flavor, um, I'd say I'd have to rate the strength of like a 4 out of 5 for me here. Uh, just like the scent, it's very strong, uh, predominant with the, uh, um, the spearmint. Uh, I'm trying to compare it to something else other than, uh, I'd have to say like, if you, ever, if you guys have ever had cream de mint, like de mint liqueur, it's sort of, it's something like that. You know, you get that strong spearmint, but it's not too strong to where it's unbearable, but at the same time, it's not um, um, subtle to where, um, it's not subtle by any means, basically. And uh, it's definitely, it's not overpowering like cane mint. To some people, I've had people come over and say, you know, the cane mint was too strong, whatever, but it's definitely not like that. I'd say it's in between a fucking mint and cane mint, but leaning more towards the cane mint side. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys my opinion of the flavor here. Okay, for the taste, now on the inhale, you get that uh, um, spearmint and uh, get that cooling sensation. And on the exhale, it just, <clears throat> the spearmint definitely comes out. It's pretty, sh it's, you know, it's very strong, but not as strong as cane mint. But the flavor is, uh, it tastes really good. If you guys like, if you guys like spearmint, I definitely recommend picking this up because it's just predominant with that, with that spearmint. I don't know, it's really, it's hard to describe, even though it's such a simple flavor. I don't know. Um, for overall rating for me, I'd have to say, uh, I'd have to say a four and a half, four and a half, 4.75 out of five. I don't give fives out very often, and this is pretty damn close, so um, that's definitely saying something for me. Um, would I recommend to pick this up to other people? Yeah, definitely. If you guys like mint flavors, if cane mint's too strong for you, and effective mint's not strong enough, you definitely like this. Although it is a very strong, you know, it's a strong mint flavor, it's not something, you know, to try to scare anyone away or anything like that. And especially that spearmint, yeah, it definitely comes out and um, on the exhale you get it. And it sort of lingers there for a minute or two. And uh, yeah. So I definitely say like a 4.75 out of 5 for me. Um, leave you guys with a few clouds. Check out the hookahcartel.com. Um, big things popping over there. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, there's people there to help you guys out. So check it out. And uh, yeah.
So hey guys, Scooby here. If you guys have any questions, um, subscribe, uh, rate, comment, send me a message, uh, comment on the videos, I already said that. If you guys have any questions regarding anything in regards to hookah, um, I'll do my best to answer it for you. So hey guys, um, Scooby here from the Hookah Cartel and uh, I'm out.